Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to another Blockbuster Models episode. In this video, I'll show you how to create characters, same way as I did in BB Models characters, but with Magicka Voxel. You'll need Magicka Voxel and Blockbuster 1.6.6, let's go. Let's take one of those default Magicka Voxel models, and turn it into a Blockbuster Biped model. So the first step is to separate all the body parts into their own objects in the scene graph. Select the box selection tool, and start selecting individual body parts. Let's start with head. Once the head is selected, cut it out, Ctrl plus X, switch to the scene graph, either press the button on top right, or press tab, and paste the limb there. Now switch back to the main object, and do the same thing for all limbs, that includes both arms, legs and body limbs. Once you're done separating, now we need to set up initial anchor points. This is done by editing every object and resizing it so the origin point, from which these arrows come out, will be in the center. Also, make sure that the whole model is faced in the opposite direction of the green arrow. If it's not, you can use rotation and flip tools in the right sidebar. Once you do that, name the limbs. And save the model to anywhere in the Blockbusters models folder. Now let's go into Minecraft and place the model we just saved. Overall the anchor points are looking fine. However, I think it would be rather nice to adjust them even more. Let's open the model in Blockbuster's model editor. We can change origin points using OBJ origin fields. Once the origin points are changed, we need to bring those back to original position. I'll also take a liberty of posing the arms a bit differently. Let's save the model before editing properties. Now we can start working on enabling animations to the model. Let's start with making head look around. Then, we can make arms swipe, idle and swing. For the right arm enable swiping, swinging and idle. While for the left swinging, idle and inverted. Enabling inverted is important as it makes the animations go into another direction. So the arms and legs wouldn't look synced. For both legs enable swinging and enable inverted for the right leg, instead of left leg, if we'll toggle swinging of the limbs, it would look correct. Now, let's set up the holding items. On the right arm, I already toggled holding status to right arm, but we still need to configure the anchor point for the item. You can use anchor point values to edit that. While OBJ origin point is responsible for setting up relative point from which the geometry will be rotated around, the anchor point property is responsible for setting up origin point of non-OBJ Minecraft limbs. This is the one that is used for held item position as well. Toggle held items to left on the left arm, and you can pretty much copy the values from the right arm, for exception of the X coordinate, which should be reflected relative to 0.5 value here. Once you're done setting up anchor points, you can try out the model in action. It works pretty fine, but we still have some stuff to finish, like setting up sneaking pose. This should be relatively straightforward, you just switch to sneaking pose and pose the character to your liking, as they would be in a sneaking pose. Let's test it out, and yes, it works. Wiggle that butt, haha. -ha. 
Before we jump into a fun yet useless part, let's quickly tweak the hitbox size for both standing and sneaking poses. You can skip to the end right now, but finally we'll be doing probably the most fun, yet boring part of configuration, which are armor slots, so vanilla armor and items on the head will show up when you equip them. Let's start by equipping armor to all slots so it would be possible to see changes being made. And now, for every limb, select an appropriate armor slot, and change light blue highlight box, using anchor points and size properties, so it would cover most of those limbs fully. And that's pretty much it, and you can also pose and use animated poses with these models. I hope this tutorial was helpful, if you'll encounter any problems, join my discord server, and I'll try to help. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.